Hey everybody and welcome back to VR Essentials as today we're talking about the Oculus Meta Quest 3. Sorry, there's no Oculus there. And we're going to be talking about mixed reality VR experiences. And honestly speaking, I've just really been diving in, although I have been playing Cubism quite a lot and I am going to be trying Piano Vision very soon. I wanted to know what first encounters was all about as of course in the latest update Meta Quest 3 are putting it pretty much everywhere you can in order to try it and I have to say it is actually pretty pretty awesome. Now there's a whole bunch of different mixed reality experiences. This is what the Quest 3 was meant for. It's not really meant for VR, it's meant more for MR mixed reality where we can see the real world and also manipulate and change and interact with 3D models in the digital world. And when you put it together, it's just really, really magical. You gotta take a look at this. We've been playing this at the office with everyone as well, with some superimposed here images. I've been trying 11 table tennis VR as well as Cubism. And so there are a whole bunch of other different apps. I mean, it's just really phenomenal. I'm really looking forward to trying Tribexar as well. Of course, the DJ app where you can DJ in VR, but you can see your environment. I think that would be pretty, pretty awesome, everybody. And by the way, I am doing a live stream tonight using the MetaQuest AirLink to my PC VR setup with the F1 2023 in VR mode with the RTX 480 and i7 14, 14,600K 14th gen chip, basically. So yeah, that's going to be very cool. So do hang tight for that and come back in a few hours or in a couple of hours for that video. We'll go and check it out after this video if you've come from the future. All right, guys, let's dive into VR. Hit the like so more people get to discover today's video, excuse me, and also so we can grow together the VR Essentials YouTube community and hit the notification bell after you subscribe for more videos coming very soon, of course. All right, let's dive into VR. All right, so we're inside of the actual Thirst Encounters app now. Now, I'm very sorry for the mess. I just did an unboxing, but I'm gonna show you. This is really, really crazy stuff set up your space start scanning and check this out check this out you have to move around you can see keep moving around the room scan as much of the room as possible while avoiding areas like kitchen and stairs and look it just scans my entire my entire space i mean the camera is really really crazy as you can see I mean look at this really crazy it's absolutely scanning every object that's here and just moving around it tells me that it scanned the whole room but just to be sure just to be safe I'm going to come here as well I mean this is crazy where is all this data going how is it being used because of course it's going to be used for advertising, right? So there you go, guys. That's the whole scan. All right, let's go. Let's continue. Wow. Wow, so it's able to draw a box around me. You can adjust the walls if needed. Wow, this is so accurate. I feel like I'm inside of a... of... of Lumen's app or something. I mean, it's... Like I'm inside of actual lumens, some something like that. All right, let's continue. Wow, look at that. Add furniture. Okay. So we can see the mesh. We can see the lines. It says we can add furniture. Be mindful that if you move any of that furniture, you'll need to rescan your room. Manage your space. Set up any time in physical space settings. Complete. All right, so we're now waiting. Oh, everything's gone dark. Oh, all right, we're back in mixed reality. Oh, all right, be careful of objects in your physical space. Things like walls, tables, and lamps. Okay. Pesky space puffians are about to flood into your room. Okay, all right, this is pretty... Catch as many as you can, okay. Now apparently we need the controllers for this. It's not a hand tracking. Or maybe it is hand tracking, but right now it's not. Ooh. Wow. Wow, this is cool. Ooh. The 
you're making more mess. I'm glad I made some mess inside my room because everything is already very messy. Do I need my controllers right now? I'll put them down. Oh, I can take the gun. Grab. So it's not hand tracking. Okay, so I'll definitely need my controllers, it seems. All right, there we go. Ah, it's a shame it's not hand tracking. That would have been awesome. Wow, look at that. We can see. Wow. This is pretty cool. Look, you can see. <laughs> this is massively amazing. Wow. <laughs> Again, I'm very sorry for the mess in my room, everybody, but technically speaking, it's made more mess. Oh, nice, okay. Uh-oh, what's going on now? And guys, do go and check out the unboxing I did with all the bling, the lead strap and everything video that I posted a few days ago. Or for you, it will be a few videos ago, if you're watching in the future, of course. Wow, this is pretty cool. Wow, man, this is amazing. <laughs> oh, I got two guns now. Do I have to shoot this? Oh. Wow, because my room has completely transformed. It's really mad. This is really crazy. Oh, they're coming from everywhere. And oh, they got different colored ones. They got red ones. They're very cute, though. Very, very cute. Wow, this is pretty amazing. And guys, if you need lens prescription adapters, do go to vr-wave.store. 5% discount with the promo code VR Essentials, everybody. They're releasing new prescription lenses for Quest 3 very soon. So go and check out the promotions on the website. Promo code 5% discount using VR Essentials, everyone. Oh man, this is really, really awesome. I mean, my room, the walls are completely gone. Look, my computer is here, but it's completely gone. Where's my computer? I just bought the computer and they broke my computer. How dare they? Look, look at my window. Look at my poor next level racing wheel. Rig set up with my Logitech wheels being completely eaten up. Anyone else? Oh, there's one there. Oh, oh. one more. There right, you go, there. there. Gosh, it's going to be amazing when they can recreate my furniture in 3D and I'll see it floating around. Wow, it's like magic. Oh! Wow, there's so many of them. Oh, you can shoot outside as well. Okay, cool. Wow, this is amazing. Can you imagine Population 1 or Contract like this? It would be amazing. Look, my TPVI4, my Pimax Crystal, and my Pico 4 are completely broken in the virtual world. I can't use them. It's, so it's just amazing. It's like you want to go in, but there, I know there's a wall. That's amazing. And guys, it was an update, version 59, if you're watching recently of the Quest 3. Do go and check out that video as we talk about all the updates. I personally don't have the update yet on board online, so I'm going to have to wait a little while. This is crazy, everyone. Really crazy. It's really, really cool. Oh, man. It does get a bit repetitive, I have to admit, but it's all good. I think kids will love this. It's a great first, first mixed reality experience, I have to admit. I love how they hide behind, and how they really move in your sweet space. I think that's pretty cool. That's my entire room as well. Oh man, this is pretty amazing. Oh, my 
months ago. But this one over there. Oh, pretty amazing. Score. 110 out of 162. Not bad. Not bad at all. I don't know, they gave me a little medal or something. A little coin. Maybe. Oh, look. Something else is coming out of it. Oh, are they coming back? It's a shame there isn't a little shadow. That would have been nice. So there you go, guys. That was First Encounters. Not bad experience, I have to say. Very simple. But look, we can look at outside. Wow. Really cool. Really cool. What do you guys think? Leave some comments below if you tried First Encounters. This is completely free. It comes with the Quest free in the store. Graphics are not bad at all, I have to admit. I can definitely see a little bit of screen door effect though. Or maybe it's just because they added a lot of fog. But you know, in the Quest 1, it wasn't so much fog, so it's great that we're able to get all these atmospherics special effects inside of the Quest 3 compared to Quest 1 as it has a more powerful GPU than the Quest 2 but when it comes to fog and noise you can definitely see it in the Quest 3 lenses though it shows up a little bit of screen effect not too much but you could definitely feel that it looks a bit more digital and definitely for my room because the lighting's very low I can see a bit more noise for sure so there are more you can explore more re re mixed reality apps excuse me that are all here, by the way. Dimeo, definitely one of my favorite ones. So you can click on Explore. And then a panel will come up. All right, so we're back in the menu now. By the way, guys, I will be moving my router from my living room. I got a, ca a cable to move it from one router. I have two routers, so the second router will be coming in my room. So normally speaking, because the Quest 3 really does need a lot of um, Wi-Fi power, for some reason there seems to be a bug here. I can't actually go back into here unless I click back on here on Encounters. Okay, resume. There we go. So I click on Explore. There we go. So I have the panel that comes up. As you can see, I don't have too much battery power here. And then you can see all the other mixed reality apps that come up now. Gravity Sketch is used by, for example, Walkabout Medigo who create a lot of their actual experiences using using uh, mixed reality, uh, sorry, using uh, Gravity Sketch in order to come up with their own different power calls. Cubism, a great game. Definitely, definitely suggest you guys try this one. It's absolutely amazing. Really, really cool. Uh, and also Tribe. I'm going to be trying out Tribe very soon. The DJ app in mixed reality. That's going to be pretty awesome as well. Dimeo, definitely one I uh, play for sure. Uh, so for some reason, it still tells me that there's a price here. However, I did download it, so normally speaking, yes, okay, it's, it's already been purchased. Um, so yeah, FitX, Sora, Fitmin, uh, Engage. So I didn't know Engage was in mixed reality though, to be honest with you. But um, yeah, so you can definitely try others. Trip is supposed to be not too bad. So I'm definitely going to be trying this one out as well, uh, which has mixed reality. So you can see the little icons here, mixed reality things here and it tells you mixed reality mixed reality mixed reality and uh yeah so different apps you can try so very cool and i'm sure there'll be much much more of course uh 11 table tennis vr is also has a mixed reality mode now so hopefully that will be updated here and uh, yeah piano uh pano vision is also another one that i'm looking to try the piano app I uh, don't think I saw it in here. It should be somewhere. Piano Vision enables you to learn how to play piano in mixed reality. So again, it's missing from here for some reason. So it's very possible that there could be other things that are just not being featured in the main panel here, basically. So, but yeah, there you go, guys. That was really, really good fun. Really good fun. Let's uh, get out of VR now. So guys, yeah, as you could tell, I really had a good time in... Uh... First encounters, I thought it was just really awesome. We tried actually scanning this in our office, huge environment. Now what happens when you scan in a huge environment is that the wall, it won't be able to scan the entire environment if your room is really, really big. However, it will create a invisible wall. So when you walk towards it, you then see the wall appearing. But if you walk away from it, you won't get to see the wall itself. Now you can see I'm wearing my Zyber VR 
um, accessories. And by the way, they are here as well on the Elite Strap, which is really, really cool. I have to say, go and check out the video that I'll put a link in the description below as well. You do get 15% discount, everybody, site-wide when you go and purchase MetaQuest 3, Quest 2, Quest Pro, Pico Series, whatever accessories there as well. The link is in the description and you can use the promo code VR Essentials, by the way. So I'm going to be using this with my F1 2023 Sims tonight, as I'm probably going to be using up quite a lot of battery with this, with the Air Link, I have to say, to PC VR. It's probably going to eat up a lot of battery. So it's going to be very interesting to see how long it will last tonight. Do go and catch that video live stream happening very soon, everybody. All right, until next time, take it easy. Whew, very pumped. Hit the like so more people get to discover today's video. We can grow the VR Essentials YouTube community, notification bell, after you subscribe, of course, so that you can get notified of all the juicy videos coming soon. Bye for now, guys. Bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-b